Hi, I'm Kevin Burns with Design Invasion. Hi, I'm Kevin Burns with Design Invasion. Hi, I'm Kevin Burns, a designer with Design Invasion. Hi, welcome to Design Invasion. I'm Kevin Burns. Hello, America. I'm Kevin Burns with Design Invasion, the show that redesigns the lame and tame into fun and fabulous. Come on, partners, let's go. And what? And two. And three. And four. And two. And one. And two. Let's get physical. Kevin is crazy. Crazy. He's a crazy Kevin. cowboy right now. Excuse me, sir, but you, you gotta go. Power drills. Wow. This here is what we call a traffic pattern. Just think you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, then you're falling. Oh, this is a small car, but I'm tiny. Make some room we're coming through. Even with the rain around us and the electrical wires and everything, who cares? Let's <laughs> make a lampshade. <laughs> we haven't done that. A language of love, moving your hips. All in, the, all in the hips, right? All in the hips. We're taking the Kevin Express to a Shanghai surprise. Not really, because oh, cool. da, da, da. it's gonna be beautiful. Trust me, don't you trust me? <laughs> oh no, that is my cup. Where is my cup? Mm. I call it working for the weekend. Don't drip that glue on me. I don't want to be all stuck <laughs> up on that <laughs> mirror. You guys are tall. I feel like I'm around supermodels today. I like this. I want a turban too. Where's my little head wrap? Oh. Spicy, hot, fiery. This is sizzling hot, sizzling hot. I think Kevin deserves some sugar too, because Kevin was do Kevin was doing something today. I think Kevin was doing something. Right, okay, okay. Now get to dipping, come on. Oh wow, I love Madonna. And the game that we play is called Choose It or Lose It. We got rid of the bold blue walls and brightened them up with warm shades of light green and yellow. The new furniture we brought in creates a more inviting space, and the storage boxes will help make the room cleaner and more manageable. My design story was Zen Palace, and I think we really created this mood. There were three main points that we had to rectify when we walked in today. First of all, the upholstery. Lisa had that leopard print throw. All her upholstery was mismatched and just a hodgepodge. We really clarified that by just giving nice clean lines and making the room wonderful neutral tones. Now Lisa taught me a new term today which I did not know either. That window treatment was called puffs. I rectified that idea by just giving her some wonderful bamboo inspired blinds. And every inch in this room was covered with some sort of Asian motif. What I did, I simplified. Less pieces, which means everything that's in the room really stands out. My idea was to make the room more comfortable for both Kathy and Mike. We changed the color scheme from Kathy's reds and pinks to these handsome greens and browns. We cleared away the knickknacks and clutter by providing plenty of storage in the boxes Mike, Amy, and I stained. I actually kept a few of the elements that already existed in the room, such as the piano from Kathy's aunt, as well as Mike's prized deer head. I put that trophy in a place of pride and honor, minus the hats. When they walk in, it's going to be a familiar space and a space of comfort. All the upholstery was just mismatched and pieces here and there. I wanted to bring it together, give it a sense of uniformity. Another point that we had to address in the room was the ceiling fan. Luckily, in our choose or lose item, Debbie was a little risk taker and she chose the wonderful chandelier. It really is a great piece, kind of centers the room and the wonderful crystals just give a warm glow. Another point that we worked out in the room was the wall unit. We took it away, brought in a wonderful Asian styled armoire. It's a smaller piece, I think it's more appropriate for the room, but it still houses all their components and their television. The room no longer says country comfort, now it truly is spice market chic. The starting point for the room was obviously Matthew's strong love of sports. But I updated it. Really fun, colorful side tables, a bookcase that has these metal baskets in it like a locker room. It's still in the game, but it's just updated and a bit more grown up. I divided the room into two sections, one for actual seating, conversation, and the other half of that really wonderful pool table. So what I wanted to do is bring in some warmer tones, bringing different textures into the room. So I painted the wall a very warm, sort of, I would say, butterscotch color. With the upholstery, I brought in some wonderful throws and some reds and some greens. The upholstered pieces, the sofa and the matching chair. The armoire, pine also, so that gives it that more rustic feel. It was a whole juxtaposition of dark woods, light woods, masculine and feminine.
earlier in the day, the first thing we saw was two chairs and two ottomans, really not conducive to a nice traffic flow. What I created was a true environment. Sofa flanked by two chairs. The whole idea for the room for me is to foster conversation, a place where the whole family can come together. I thought the bay window was a beautiful feature to the room, so I wanted to make it a focal point. I think by adding that Asian touch of the gong, it really made that part of the room pop and come alive. Alicia is going to cry when she walks into the room. She's going to absolutely love everything about it. Everything he's planned for this room is perfect. I'm loving it. The next knock on your door might be me with the design invasion. Let's go play some pool, people. Let's do it.